Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I have a tape measure and the reason I have the tape measure is because I just found the best discovery ever. <laughs> On a random surf of the internet, I came across the Guinness World Records. It's a site that has world records listed. And I found that if you type in mountain bike, there's a lot of world records that I can beat today. So my challenge is to see how many of these world records I can beat. And the first one here, which I actually can't believe, is this one. Highest bicycle wall ride. The highest wall ride on a mountain bike measured two foot, one inch. I'm gonna use my hopper ramp and just go as high up that wall as possible. We're then gonna measure it and claim a world record. Let's get the ramp built. With the ramp built, we now need to see how high we need to go. So we're gonna go from the top of the ramp. If I get to 2.30, worst time for the dentist, 2.30, then that means I've done it. So that's this level here. If I go above that, I'm a world record holder. This is such a good idea. Let's break some records. First attempt then. I actually probably won't go oh, probably won't go over it on the first go. Oh, did I? <laughs> wow, let's see that again. Oh, did I? Yes, first record beaten. I'm now a world record holder. But that was way too easy. So we're just gonna move over there and do it off concrete just to flat ground and see if we can beat the record without a ramp at all. We've now come to some flat ground. We've got a concrete run up and a wall here. The current world record for the wall ride is two foot 10. So I'm gonna set the marker to here and then we're going to do it off the flat because that was way too easy off the ramp. Yes, there we go. World record holder for the highest wall ride on a mountain bike. We're now going to head back over to where we were because we're now going to do another one. The longest wall ride. The longest wall ride on a mountain bike measured one metre which is three foot nine inches, also by Jim DeChamp. So we're gonna mark that out on the wall. We'll have a like one like this and one like that. And I just have to do that. So it said three foot nine. That's super easy though. So we're gonna put it at four foot here and try and beat the record by miles. There we go. Let's just double check that. That's over four foot on on everywhere that's over the limit, look. So let's get a uh, slow-mo of that. Oof. No, we'll hit it first, then get a slow-mo to really prove it. Here we go. Oh, was that it? Let's get a slow-mo then, and then we'll be able to see. Yes, there we go. I'm now another world record holder for the longest wall ride. As you saw, my front wheel landed about there in the slow-mo, but my back wheel landed the other side of this, and I rode the whole way and come off about here. So, I beat already because this was, this was four foot, once again, to double confirm. The world record for longest wall ride was three foot nine inches. Yes, I'm gonna add that to my portfolio. <laughs> That's sick. Right, we've got more challenges to do now. So I'm currently the world record holder for two new things. Let's go and do the next one. For world record number three that I'm gonna break, this is the fastest wheelie or manual this was broken by Gilles Cruchard in Switzerland. He went 68.3 kilometers an hour and done a manual. Let's just do one speed run to see if I can get up to the same speed as him. No chance, never gonna happen. We now come to the next steepest hill in our area. This should work. Ah! 
said 56. Ah, oh, what did that guy do it in? Well, 68. There's no way I'm doing that, not in Essex. There's no steep enough hills. Okay, I'm just gonna do a full speed manual down here at least for a bit of fun anyway. I do know from that is that the Canyon Spectral on does like to sit on the back wheel. That's a well good Manny. All right, we failed that challenge. We can save that for the future. Let's try and break another one. From that upset of not conquering that world record of the back wheel speed test or whatever, we've come to the skate park because there's a challenge here I think I can beat. This is the most bunny hops to rear onto a bar in one minute. Now the picture shows a trials rider on a bar here. Doesn't show the height of the bar. It says the challenger, Zhang Jinkun, is a well-known climbing bike and mountain bike rider in China. I don't know what a climbing bike is, but there's a pole behind us here, and I'm gonna go up to the back wheel on it 14 times in a minute and I'm going to smash this record and I'm going to have another world record. You ready, Louis? So a minute and 20 seconds. Tell me when to go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. One. Two. Three. Oh my God, that's going to be hard. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh no, no, oh. 12. Oh no! 13. 14. 15. Oh! Oh yes! Oh! I only beat it by one. That was sketchy. Wow. If we didn't have their mess up, I'd have done it well good. I, Because I couldn't see the timer. I was so scared I was going to lose out. <sighs> Hello, mate. Yeah. Um, Guinness World. Yeah. You're speaking to a new record holder. 15 in a minute. Yeah, mate. Get it in the book. Get it in there! Wow, that was more of a workout than I thought, actually. And because I couldn't see the timer, I was pushing so hard, messed it up a bit. 15, I like that. Beating it by one means that someone else can beat it easier for the next one. Okay, we need another challenge then. I've got three world records completed today. They're mine. Let's do the next one. Next world record I want to try and beat is the most bicycle jumps between two platforms in one minute. So we've got two tables either side here creating platforms. I'm going to hop across and across and across. Hopefully that works. The uh, record was by Andre Burton, a British trials rider. This is probably going to actually blow my mind how hard it is but worth a try um, this was done in germany and the most bicycle jumps between two platforms in one minute is 21. Duff, 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 duff. that's going to be um, pretty difficult we're going to set this timer up now same way we did last time and uh, suffer the consequences of my stupidity Oh my God, quick. I was going so well till then.
Bora! I'm a new world record holder and on a bouncy enduro bike. Andre done it on a trials bike. It's way too easy, mate. I came if you're on the full suspension here and conquered. That is what it says between two platforms, this one and that one. Four world records so far in one day. <laughs> Wow, what a day. Four world records smashed by myself here on the Canyon Spectral. That has been so fun. There's a few other mountain bike world records that just aren't possible without a big setup, like Cam Zink's 100 foot backflip craziness. And Daryl Brown, English rider, has a world record for the highest recorded height out of a takeoff. It's actually only 17 foot, so a lot of the contests we ride, we get about that much airtime anyway, but no one else bothered to get it recorded. So nice one, Daryl. Hopefully we can smash that in the future if we find a perfect location for it. But there we go. I'm well happy with that. Just an average day turned into a world record breaking day. So on that bombshell of absolute fun, excitement, biking, and new world records. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments. And if you sick, you subscribe. See you in the next one.